Homosexuality is an enigma. Even in this era of bold sexual mores, it remains a subject that people find disturbing. Gay men are so disturbing, in fact, that since the end of the AIDS crisis in the early 1990s, Hollywood has fallen back on the standard trope of the renegade for almost every gay protagonist that makes it into theaters. Mainstream U.S. culture wants our gay male characters to question effeminate stereotypes. Sometimes we even want them to have gay sex on screen. I only have sex with a guy for money. Yeah, I know. And two guys can't love each other. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, for me, I could love someone even if I, you know, wasn't paid for it. But we also want them to remain just deviant enough that we can depict them as outsiders and cast their gay sex as something human but unsavory. It's all part of a tricky process that queer film historian Vito Russo called the Americanization of homosexuality for the screen. Sure, maybe you can convince Alma to let you and Lorraine adopt the girls. And we can just live together herding sheep. And it'll rain money from L.D. Newsom and, and whiskey will flow in the streams, Jack. That's real smart. Of course, the most iconic example of the renegade for this generation would be Brokeback Mountain. And we see in this scene how gay monogamy is compared to a Western utopia. You want to live your miserable so what's so American about these renegade gays? The basic framework of the trope is the working class anti-hero and symbol of masculinity. Film historian Vito Russo points out the forebears of the renegade gay in films going back to the 60s and 70s, but he called them a veritable freak show of, quote, villains, fools, and queens. Instead, today we get cowboys, con men, and hustlers. I just wonder, is the gay thing and stealing something that goes hand in hand, or...? What the fuck are you talking about? These gay male characters are only allowed to engage in sex on screen insofar as their gender performance is masculine and their sex is occurring in some space of ambiguous morality. Prostitution, adultery, violence, and deception all play roles in renegade gay sex, and here we're going to explore how these characters have been crafted on screen. The renegade hustler can be found in films like My Own Private Idaho and Mysterious Skin. The films were made almost 15 years apart, but show very similar uses of the renegade trope. The queer hustlers and con men in these films resort to criminal activity as a way of coming to terms with their sexuality or just of achieving social mobility. Nothing. I'm trying to make a living. I'd like to have a professional attitude. Of course, if the guy can pay me, then hell yeah. Here I am for. I'll sell my ass. Do Maybe you should try and find some other safer way to make money. You know, like everyone else. It's almost like we're fishing for excuses for our gay protagonists to have sex on screen, but then we only sometimes allow it to be pleasurable sex. So, uh, what do you like to do? Tell me what you want me to do. Whatever. But moments like these are always still balanced with moments of violence and pain, as we see in this scene from Mysterious Skin. In the talented Mr. Ripley, Matt Damon's sexual obsession with his friend ultimately turns to murder. What 
what legitimizes these gay men as worthwhile protagonists, despite their sexual deviance, is that opportune mixture of sadism and the American dream. We watch these renegades quest for something more. Sometimes that includes having sex along the way. But by virtue of being outcasts and outlaws, these renegade gays are locked into tragic trajectories. Come in my ass! And I oh. did. I have been living a lie for a long, long time. I don't even think you know who you are. So how am I supposed to love something that don't even exist? You tell me. Morris, you're up. I will never forgive you, Stephen. Never. Here we have Brokeback's one anal sex scene, which is dark, drunk, and not particularly pleasant. So what do you make of the renegade? Do you think it's useful to lump together these cowboys, con men, and hustlers into a single group of masculine, sexualized gay men on film? Increasingly, we see counterexamples to this trope, and I certainly hope we see more. But for now, gay protagonists in film seem to almost always be renegades. What the fuck are you talking about? 